Hello and welcome to the Websurd and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. US tech giants invest in European data centers. Email marketing is failing to engage Europeans. And Facebook becomes the dominant digital advertising platform in Thailand. Multiple American tech giants are looking to invest large amounts of money in the European cloud computing market. In order to become large players in keeping data in the continent, both Amazon and Microsoft are spending billions of dollars on opening multiple data centers in many of the major online markets. Currently, the largest company in the sector, Amazon Web Services, recently revealed that it would be opening several data centers in the UK and France to add to its new multi-million dollar compound in the Netherlands. Meanwhile, Microsoft said recently that it had invested 1 billion US dollars in the past year in order to expand its current European-based cloud services. Satya Nadella, Microsoft's CEO, said that we're building our global cloud infrastructure in Europe so it can be trusted by multiple constituents. The move from these businesses is thought to come in response to the multiple European regulatory issues that have ensured that European data stays within Europe and cannot be sent to the US to be viewed by law enforcement. This news comes as Yahoo faces controversy after admitting to searching its users' email accounts on behalf of US government agencies, the NSA and the FBI. A new European study has revealed that email marketing campaigns are less engaging than they once were. The survey by Adobe, which looked into the email habits of 3,000 working people across Europe, also revealed that even though 10% less people are engaged by email marketing compared to 2015, they spend more time than ever checking their messages. It was also found that compared to its larger European neighbours, professionals in the UK are more easily targeted outside of work hours. Whilst in the UK, 53% of people would check their emails whilst in bed, only 42% and 34% would do the same in France and Germany, respectively. That pattern continues when it comes to checking work messages at the weekend as well, with Brits likely to check 43 emails on average compared to Germans reading only 17 and French people 16. Facebook is expected to be the dominant channel for digital ad spend in Thailand this year. A report from the Digital Advertising Association in Thailand suggests that the amount of money spent on Facebook advertising in the country is expected to rise by around 30 million US dollars from 2015, almost a 50% increase. Whilst Facebook will lead the way in the market this year, its next best competitor, YouTube, falls well behind with a nationwide $47.7 million spend compared to Facebook's $81 million. When questioned, nearly half of marketers in Thailand said that the reason for the rise in spending was to increase awareness and reach, whilst the second most popular reason was to increase customer engagement, something only 16% of marketers held as an objective. Following its success in the US, Apple has now launched Apple Pay in its 10th market around the world. After previous launches in markets including the UK, China and Canada, Apple has announced the service will now launch in Russia. The payment service allows users to pay for items in any high street shop that has near-field communication technology. But whilst it's seen success in America, Reuters has reported that Apple has failed to see high levels of usage in other markets. Other digital payment apps such as Android Pay and Samsung Pay have all provided tough competition for Apple in the international market, with Samsung's offering already gaining traction in Russia. After launching in Russia, Apple Pay is reportedly looking to Japan for its next launch. 
And that's it from me today. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out our Catch Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time. Thank you.